Okay, so um, for those of you that know me, my name is Garrett Person. Um, as Fabian mentioned, uh, me and him go way, way back. And my background is actually primarily in uh, technology. My career started as a web developer. I've been building websites for over 20 years now. And um, I've worked as a developer, as a project lead, technical manager, project manager, CTO. Um, so I'm, I'm very much steeped in technology. That's, that's my kind of strength and, and specialty. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be talking, despite that background, I'm actually not going to be talking about technology at all today um, because I just want to focus really on strategy. We talk a lot about strategy here at Pixaloo and so I just want to really kind of introduce it um, in the context of how we approach it so that when we're talking about it in later episodes, uh, everyone has an understanding of what it is and what it means to us. Um, oh, that's all my round up. So these are some of the companies I've worked with over the years. Um, some of them you recognize, some of them you may not. Uh, but yeah, we don't need to spend too much time on that. So really and truly, the way that we look at strategy here is that it's one component of actually trying to, to start, build, and develop a business. The first level, or there as you like, is vision. And before you can really start to develop or work on a strategy, the vision is really what establishes the reason for your business. Why have you got this organization in place? Why did you start it? You know, what's the motivation behind it? Um, who, who in there actually runs their own business? Just so I have an idea. How many business owners do we have? Okay, we've got quite a few. So there's gonna be times when you may be talking to potential customers, you may be talking to investors, you may be talking to partners, you may be talking to employees. Your vision is going to be what unites and drives, motivates, inspires, and reassures people about what it is that you're trying to do. If you approach an investor who can't buy into your vision, then they're not going to buy into you. They need to see that you're, you're going somewhere. They need to understand the reason for your organization being in place. So being able to actually clearly explain that and articulate that is something that you need to do. Um, and we will be covering that more in some of the uh, sessions that we do later on. But this is really the starting point. And from our point of view, your vision establishes your direction. If you consider the journey that you're traveling on as you try to build your business, the, the vision is defining where you're trying to get to. Where's that end goal? And really being clear about where you're going. It sets the direction for your entire enterprise. So after that, the next layer down is that we have objectives. And if you've defined a clear vision, then you can actually pull some of your objectives out of it. Uh, and these could be things like, you know, in three years' time, we want to establish, you know, five branches of our, of our store. It could be that, you know, we want to have 100,000 pounds of sales a year within three years' time. It could be that we want to build a team of 300 staff within the next five years. But these are specific objectives. Most of us, I'm sure, have heard of the SMART acronym. Um, so these are specific objectives that are measurable, that are time-based, and they're agreed upon by your whole team. So everyone in your team understands where you're trying to do and what you're trying to achieve. So the objectives are really kind of landmarks uh, that you can look at to measure as you're progressing towards fulfilling your vision. By keeping track of them, it actually lets you know, are we on track? Are we heading towards our vision in the time scale that we, we felt we would? Do we need to adjust or amend? the way that we're progressing. So really the purpose of setting objectives is to allow you to evaluate how you're progressing and if you're moving towards your vision in the way that the rate of progress that you expected. So let me come to the fun one. Um, and this is where strategy comes in because once you've established what it is that you're trying to achieve and where you're trying to get to, strategy really is answering the hardest question of all, which is, is how. Um, does anyone here, is anyone familiar with South Park? Anyone seen South Park? Mm -hmm. Okay, so some of you might know there's a very famous meme where the, the gnomes are stealing underpants and they have this master business plan and phase one is collect the underpants, phase three is profit and phase two, eh, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> like who knows how you're gonna make profit from, from stealing underpants, right? 
And that's where a lot of businesses, especially in the early stages, we struggle because we may have a really great idea, we may have a, a really driving work ethic, but we haven't yet figured out how are we going to get from where we are now to that very distant looking point on the horizon where we're trying to get. And strategy is the process of developing the route from where we are now to where we're trying to get to. So there's entire businesses, enterprises that are built purely on strategy alone because it's such a hard thing for, for all of us. No one finds strategy easy. It takes time, it takes a lot of thought and effort and planning. But effectively, strategy serves to deliver focus. Because if you start on your path without considering the strategy that you're using, you can put in a lot of effort, you can put in a lot of time, you can consume a lot of resources. <coughs> And it doesn't mean that you're actually getting closer to your vision because you haven't considered the path in which you're going. If you want to leave home from here today and get home, you could leave out the front door and just start walking. If you don't know which direction you're going in, if you don't know the route you're taking, it doesn't mean that you're going to get any closer to home. You're traveling down the road, but maybe not in the direction that you want to go. So by utilizing strategy effectively, it brings focus to all the actions that are going to follow it, and it means that you're not wasting energy uh, going in directions that aren't going to be ultimately beneficial to you. And then of course that brings us to the final stage which is action and this is when you actually start doing things. Once you know the purpose and the meaning of what it is that you're doing, you can go forward with a lot more confidence rather than saying we're doing this because we, we think we have to, I need a website, <coughs> I need a logo, I'm not sure but I'm going to do it. You understand what it means to your company, you understand what it means to your brand. So this is the what, this is where we actually now start making progress, this is where we actually start doing things, but it's important not to just launch into things without that kind of process of developing your vision, identifying your objectives and clarifying your strategy, because action without all of those things, you might be heading in that direction or you might not. And we feel that the effort you put into those higher levels will actually ultimately make you a lot more effective once you get down to the, to the bottom and you actually start doing the hard work that's necessary. So when you get here, this is when you're actually starting to make progress. So you've kind of mapped out your route, you know your destination, you understand the tools and resources that you're going to be using, and now you can actually start to put all of those lessons into action. So you're going to be hearing a lot of strategy, um, both today and in any of the sessions that we do. So this is hopefully just us trying to define the meaning of and the importance of why we value strategy so much. Because especially for companies that may be just starting, when you're like a solopreneur, if you're a micro-business, one or two people, it's very easy to fall into the trap of we have to do, we have to do, we have to do. We've got bills to pay this month, we've got employees to pay next month, and that's all we think about. That's all we allow ourselves the time to think about. And you can actually fall into a trap where you're always doing without thinking enough um, without realizing the value of taking that time to step back and actually plan a little further ahead. So those of you that are involved in the Pix 100 program, as we start to release more details of that, um, a lot of time will be spent talking about and, and kind of working on how you develop a strategy as a small business um, in particular. Large companies often have the structure in place where you have higher level members of staff who will focus purely on developing strategy across the enterprise. When you're a one-man band or a two-man band, you don't have the resources to dedicate to that. But we still feel that it's really something vital uh, that every business should, should have in place. So this is just a closing thought. Um, many people fail in life, not the lack of ability or brains or even courage, but simply because they never organize their energies around a goal. And this kind of really comes down to the crux of how we see strategy. If you take a nice little home lamp, a 60 watt bulb. That takes a lot more energy than a laser pointer. But you can point a laser pointer at a passing airplane and you can take it down because you'll blind the pilots, mm. even though the energy being put out is a lot less. And the only reason it's so much more powerful is because it's much more focused. So an enterprise that is focused can achieve a lot more than one that isn't. And so that's where we really want to try and uh, put your minds uh, and deliver your mindsets into the way of thinking about your business. Um, that you're not just doing all the time, but you're actually thinking ahead and really starting to map out where you're trying to get to and how you're going to get there. So that's it for me. Um, that's going to lead into Leif. 
um, who's going to be coming up next, uh, and he's going to be talking to you about how you really strategize, strategize around your customer and identifying their needs and what you can do for them. Thank you all very much.